<sighs> okay, recently I've been fascinating about this question. Paano nga ba yung dapat kong ibigay sa parents ko once I started working? And tingin ko madaming uh, young Filipino adults are also asking themselves kung magkano nga ba yung dapat nilang ibigay sa parents nila once na nag-start sila na magtrabaho. And to be honest, wala akong definite na sagot dito sa question na to. But instead, what I wanted to do is state my opinion about it. And probably yung opinion ko would be different from yours. And if yun yung case, I hope we could respect each other's opinion. And if you want to have a dialogue or conversation sa akin with my opinion, let's do it in an intellectual manner sa comment section down below. I have to admit na I could be wrong with this one, but I really want to make a video out of it kasi it really makes me think. But before I share to you yung opinion ko, let me share to you muna yung dalawang content that I think is relevant regarding this topic. Yung una is from a foreign perspective. This one is from Finding Tom. However, like one thing that I would change about the culture is how parents can sometimes treat their children. I was reading a Reddit thread recently about a 24-year-old Filipino who was giving 10,000 pesos per month to their parents. No, tell your parents that you are going to save money so that you will not ask money from your children in the future. It's about time to change our tradition that parents treat children as a milking cow. Second is from my favorite local podcast. It's called Wake Up With Jim and Sab. And to be honest, I'm a huge fan of their uh, podcast and it's a bucket list for me to be uh, guested as a show nila and I hope one day in the future uh, I could be guested as a show nila. Alright, uh, let's just play their clip. Hi Jim and Sab, I'm 24 years old, 3 years working and still living with my parents. My question is, are children required to give back to their parents after they graduate? Or till what age ka ba dapat magbigay sa parents mo? In my case, I give about 50% of my monthly salary to them. As in, nagsabi talaga sila ng amount na ibigay ko every cut-off. My dad just retired from his work, my mom is a housewife, and my brother is a starting family. So, ako na lang talaga maasahan nila. We have a business naman, kaso starting pa lang. Not that I'm complaining, of course I love my parents. Ako for me, the hard part is, one, there's no fixed percentage talaga that you can say that you should give to your parents. I think the better question is, how much responsibility do you have towards your parents? Uh, or are, parang, well, one... I would say na whatever you do, don't do it out of, parang kumbaga, if it's because of a... Ni-require ata ng parents niya eh. Yeah, parang kumbaga, that's, pretty that's something intense. to think about. Parang ako, I have no problem if from the goodness of your heart, you want to give back, go. Pero don't let your self-development and your... You, parang kumbaga, you're 24, you have a life to live. You are not, you are, you are now an adult. So... It's up to you what um, what you should give to your parents. I only show a portion of their content. If you want to check their whole uh, content about it, yung whole perspective nila, I'll put links below. Okay, time for my own opinion. I think this is more of a cultural thing. And this is common for uh, Southeast Asian countries kasi para it's a culture to really give back money to your parents. And also siguro sa mga other developing countries, but for other Western countries, uh, this is not part of their culture so hindi I mean this is not uh, anything na ginagawa nila or this is not practice in their uh, country uh, isa pang I wanted to point out is uh, in personal finance I have read a lot of articles in personal finance and uh, wala akong nabasa na regarding this topic or uh, para nagsasabi na ito talaga yung dapat mong ibigay to your family to your parents but when it comes to tithing or giving back to your church meron dun naka-state sa ibang article na you should give 10% of your income. So, uh, ano yung final verdict dito? So, it's really up to you kung magkano yung willing kang ibigay, yun yung ibigay mo to your family. So, ang gusto ko na lang talagang ayusin dito is, let's put a guideline on how we should give back to our family. My first general guideline when it comes to this one is, it must not hinder your self-growth. So, ano yung ibig sabihin nito? So, ibig ko lang sabihin nito is hindi ka nagkukulang sa sarili mo financially. Uh, pwede kang kumain ng healthy if gusto mo. Uh, you, you have, you're able to save and invest some money. You're able to find your passion. And if may trainings or seminar ka na gusto mong attendan because you want to improve a skill, you could afford to. For me kasi in the long run, if you're able to achieve self-growth, mas makapag-provide ka more to your family than yung nagbigay ka agad ng sobra-sobra. Because when you're old, you'll probably end up with a lot of regrets and parang hindi yun okay. Kasi masasabi mo sa sarili mo na if only I have invested in myself younger, ito na sana ako ngayon. 
nagagawa ko na sana talaga yung gusto ko. So, ayun lang. Yun lang naman yung case ko doon. Uh, just never hinder your self-growth when it comes to giving back to your family. My number two guideline is do it for the right reasons. So, para sa akin, don't do it kasi it's a cultural requirement. Do it kasi you're thankful or you're grateful para dun sa ginawa sa'yo ng mga parents mo or your family. Do it kasi you have the value of generosity. Do it kasi bukal sa kalooban mo. And never do it kasi napipilitan ka lang. Now, lahat ng mga pinagsabi ko kanina are not for everyone. Siguro, those are just for the ideal uh, scenario. So, ako kasi just ship in dun sa monthly utility expenses namin. Uh, that's my way of uh, thanking my parents and it is also yung choice ko. I'm really grateful kasi I'm working, my parents are working, my grandparents has their own business and everyone is self-sufficient and I'm really in a good spot. And if you have this kind of option, I would really suggest na you maximize it and grab the opportunity to really invest a lot in yourself early. I know in reality, this is not the typical scenario for the Philippines. The Philippines is still a developing country. And uh, alam ko din naman talaga na there are families that if hindi nagbigay yung anak nila sa kanila, mababawon sila sa utang. Kaya nga using breadwinner dito sa Philippines. And to be honest, I feel bad for them because I think it's unfair. I know they love their family, kaya nga nila inahon yung family nila. And sa ganong case, I won't feel bad if napipilitan na lang sila. So alam mo yun, they're the exceptions na sa sinabi ko mga guidelines kanina. So what I want to end na lang with this video is let's end this cultural pattern. So paano yun? Uh, let's give the next generation a culture na hindi nila mapifeel na they're required to give money or they're pressured to give money back to us as their parents. So dun sa mga anak-anak natin, let's give them a culture na hindi nila mapifeel na they're pressured or they're required to give back because we can handle our own finances. So yun lang, that's where I want to end with this video. Uh, hope you have a great day and see you in the next video. Alright, bye! Ooh.